Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Friday, locked up still with the coronavirus. How's everybody doing? Is everyone still, uh, they want to graduate their kids? I officially gave my son a certificate yesterday. Three days homeschooling. He finally graduated. <laughs> you did, Ken? Good day so far for you too, Wayne. All right. <laughs> Never forget ever having kids, Bonnie. Yeah, they're great. Nah, they're fine. I don't know about my wife, which uh, it's been a lot of work. Kind of losing their mind. Cooking a lot of good stuff, though. Cleaning out the, uh, the freezer, I can tell you that. But uh, anyway, guys, what a hangover from yesterday. Holy crap. I mean, yesterday was just literally one of the best days of us trading in a long, long time. And uh, I think everyone did really well yesterday. After what we traded, there was so many great stocks. The pot stocks were moving. The mortgage stocks were moving. Just the list went on and on and on. And we're going to check out, check them out. You know, um, but before we do that, guys, just a little heads up. You'll notice that I have the upcoming events coming up. Um, coming up. Uh, we got a lot of people that now are, uh, are, are want to learn how to trade. I mean, listen, I, I told you, like, in the last few weeks, uh, CTU, we have, we're getting so many people that just want to get and learn more about how to trade the market and everything else. And we like to thank you all, uh, and all the fans out there to kind of help CTU and be part of it. But I just want everybody to know, do not feel bad because I hate saying this. It's not for everybody, but it's nice to you to come in here and see what it's all about and then make a decision before you thinking like, Oh, maybe this is an opportunity to get in. It, it's some, it depends what kind of trade you are, but you know, but we're more than welcome to kind of explain it to you. And thanks for being here. Now, next Tuesday, don't forget, Tom Sosnoff is coming back from Tastyworks. He's the founder of Thinkorswim. And now he uh, he's the owner of Tastyworks. He's, you know, so it was a great event having him here at uh, uh, last month. He always brings a big crowd. You all know him very well. Probably the best options trader I ever met. I'll never forget, Tom, uh, we always told me one day when I met him in his Thinkorswim office, uh, for the first time, like 15 years ago, and uh, I've done so many events for Think or Swim. He, uh, you would think like you walk into a day trading room, a, a trading room, and the guy's gonna have six to eight monitors. And I saw him trade with one monitor. So just just before we get into what's going on, just want to tell you this funny story. He said, "I'm like, I'm like uh, Tom, guys. I'm sitting there waiting, having a meeting with him, getting ready to do a pre presentation with him. And uh, I said, Tom, can I ask you a dumb question? He's like, Yeah, sure, anytime. What, 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 uh, what's your question? Um, why do you only have one monitor? And he looked at me, and you know what he said? The greatest line ever. He says, Fausto, if you can't make money with one monitor, how the hell are you going to make money with six? You know? So uh, just keep that in mind because everybody's always asking about, you know, what do I need? Do I get the brokerage firm? This and that. I tell everybody, like, uh, that we had some people that, uh, that have joined us, uh, and they're like, oh, I got to get my brokerage firm account up and right. Don't we all need your brokerage firm up account? Let, you know what? Before you learn, buy the car. Let's learn how to drive first, and that's why you're here. So with that said, everyone, let's go into the market and see what's going on. There's been a lot of good action. Listen, it's Friday. Um, market is down right now. We're down 750 points, all because of one grandstander uh, in, in Congress is uh, regarding about the bailout. This bailout, listen, the rally that we had in the market is all predicated on that bailout. And now you got, you got somebody out there. Everybody wants to throw their two cents in and, um, you know, just shows you how, uh, what's that word I'm looking for, but like uh, how sensitive this market is regarding about, you know, about this whole bailout. So, um, you know what? People are dying out there. You know, I know no one, not everyone's happy about it. Uh, some people are, are ticked off about it, but you know what? What it is, what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, at least we all know we can come up with two trillion dollars. We can come up with six trillion. We can come up with we come up with whatever we want. Great, you know that that's what makes us. Uh, that's why everybody here and everyone all over the world wants to trade the U.S. market. So we got to protect that. So anyway, uh, listen, we made a lot of money in the market already. So <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud, we almost doubled our money in 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 in, in uh, uh, Boeing for crying out loud. So, um, and, and that one worked out great for us, but, uh, but listen, you know what, this, uh, this whole Corona stock stuff, eh, 
I told you this guy's a long time ago when you came here. Unfortunately, our biggest profitable days uh, in trading is these catastrophes. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't hope on it, but I told you is what we look for, and unfortunately, it was not worse than I expected. Sometimes you got to be careful what you wish for, right? So anyway, let's go talking about what's happening in the market uh, regarding about some of the stocks that we traded. First of all, the TLRY. I want to bring up that one right here. Oops, did I spell it wrong? There we go. So TLRY, uh, let me just fix the time frame here so you guys can see what's going on. That one, we had a really nice move. You can see at 7 o'clock this morning, TLRY had a really, really nice pop on the long-term trade. Stock's been doing really well. Pot stocks, we did really, really well with yesterday. ACB is another one, another pot stock. What am I doing? There we go. Uh, that one also had a really nice move. 80, uh, uh, that one, uh, uh, this one is not really doing. Or there we go. All right. So that one's also moving up pretty nicely. I mean, I don't know why the pot stocks are doing. Maybe everybody's home and smoking pot. I don't know. I mean, listen, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they said that alcohol price, uh, alcohol went up. People are drinking more. I mean, they're staying home. What else are they going to do, right? So anyway, pot stocks. I didn't know. I didn't hear any rumors on it, news on it, but they're all moving. ACB is moving. Uh, Crohn's is moving. We made money on all of them. That stock, 540 to 660. Look, in a matter of like two hours, they all did pretty well. But the real, real, real big winners, the real big winners that we made a lot of money was on the mortgage stocks. The mortgage stocks, we did great yesterday. Uh, NYMT was phenomenal. That one, buck 40, went to 220. And then you could see it gapped up. Now they're going back down. I don't know what's up with it, but I think the mortgage stocks, uh, I didn't really hear the real big news on other than knowing that this has a lot to do with the, I guess, for the uh, the stimulus. That one did really well. What else we had? The GPMT. All of them were great stocks in pre-market. Stock was at $3. It went to 9 effing dollars. This thing was unbelievable. We killed it. The only thing I didn't like about the, GM, uh, the GPMT better than the uh, NYMT this one had some nasty shakes, and that was the pro that was the big difference. You could see that the stock was uh, shook us out, shook us out a lot. Uh, MFA was another one that moved pretty nicely yesterday, a buck forty to two eighty. I mean, they were all up a hundred, two hundred, three hundred percent. But when you look long term, eight dollar stocks went down to a dollar. That's like Tesla at eight hundred goes down to a hundred. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. With these stocks got pretty crushed on it. IBR was another one, too. I think we traded, too. Yeah, that one moved up pretty nicely, too. But they're all starting to trend down because the market's going down. Down about 760. All right, so let's go see what's going on this morning. Um, there are a couple of stocks that are moving pretty nicely that I did find. Uh, first of all, pot stocks are still moving again. But uh, the BKYI, I don't know what happened with this stock. It was moving pretty nicely this morning. And then it kind of like kind of flatlined over here. I don't know if it's a buyout or whatever, but you can see the stock's up 300%. And um, I don't know, just kind of just gapped up. I don't know, is it a buyout or something? Because it just kind of stopped. So I'm assuming that's probably what it is. Be up that much, you're not going anywhere. That's one of them. So uh, what else we got? We got the, well, I, I threw the, the TLRY again. I'm going to watch the pot stocks because once again, up 12% from yesterday, 2.8 million shares. You guys remember this stock. We traded, remember the stock went to about 100, over $100? We killed it on this stock. So this one is also going to be on the watch list. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, Wayne, we posted, uh, oh, Josh just posted the news on the B, B, y, uh, B, B, K, Y, absolutely. Uh, what else we got? We got the, I'm going to, we have that one right there. That's a pot stock. Uh, Crohn's. That's a pot stock. Not up a lot, though. Felt it wrong. But um, there's a couple of them that are actually moving pretty nicely. Um, I would keep an eye on the... There's another one, too. That was another mortgage stock that moved. I got to throw it out one in them, MITT. They're all, they're all actually moving pretty nicely, but now it looks like they're starting to back off. So... Not too really sold on them. I mean, you had this one too, IVR. That one moved up pretty nicely. Now she's starting to kind of like back off. I mean, it's not capped up pretty nicely. 
A N H. Another one. They all kind of backed off. These are all these mortgage stocks. They're all they were all moving pretty nicely. Now they're backing off. Um, regarding about some of the other stocks that are moving on that are not in the mortgage industry, uh, P H U N. This one gapped up really nicely. Now she's starting to break down. Um, this was a head fake. This was a head fake. I hope uh, no one got caught up in it, but it built a beautiful Fausto flag. And then right around 840, she popped from 96 to into a buck 15, trading, you know, pretty decent shares, 650,000 shares. This stock got crushed. If you go back a year, the stock was like $600. I don't know what happened. This thing got just decimated. But anyway, new, I mean, stocks trading some serious volume today. The big issue I want to remind everybody, like I, what I mentioned earlier, I'm going to repeat it again. You have to be careful. Uh, oh, is that Neil uh, BKYA got a $45 million contract built to secure e-commerce infrastructure in, in uh, Noriega? All right, well, pretty big contract, but I don't know why it didn't really go anywhere. It kind of like popped and that was it. Be careful of the spreads. The spreads are going to crush you. If you look at these spreads, remember, you think, you think buying a stock is cheap? Forget about being cheap. The spreads will crush you, okay? If you don't get the stock at the price you want it, don't buy it. Because by the time you get in, by the time you get out, you could, it could cost you 20 cents just to spread alone. 10 in, 10 out. Be careful of the spreads, okay? Especially this PHUN. That was one of the big things that threw me off. Uh, ASTC. That one... Pretty much the only one I'm finding that's got a good move to it. Now, listen, the T, I, I want to bring this up really quick, and I want to remind everybody. The TS, the, the, the ASTC, you have to be very careful with this stock because we teach you in class how to do your journals. Go back to your journals and check out the stock. Okay, but remember, this is not a teaching class. This is a trading class, okay? <laughs> this is a trading class. So I want you to go into your journals and um, go back to your journals, see how you tr what we taught you, and, and be careful because this is going to help you trade the stock a lot better than, uh, than expected, okay? So um, learning what you – because I always tell you this. You're going to trade these stocks again. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the week from now, but maybe a month, a year – but you are going to trade them again. Unfortunately, unfortunately for this one, we just traded about three days ago. But keep an eye on that one. What else do I have? LT, um, LITB is another one that I found that was moving pretty nicely. Yeah, no, uh, this one's starting to back off now. Yeah, they, they, I don't know what happened. They're all starting to back off a lot, up 46%. So you know what? This is Friday. And this is typically what, what Friday looks like. It's not the greatest day. You know, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the best days to trade. Mondays and Fridays are not always. If you go over your journals, what we taught you, and you look at your monthly journals, remember, there's two different journals, the monthly journal and the daily journal. Uh, and, in, you know, and if you're a student at CTU and we review your journals, it's important that we have them because that's how we kind of you, you kind of learn. You have to learn from those mistakes. You're gonna lose. You're gonna make mistakes. The faster you make those mistakes, because you're gonna lose money in trading. The faster you learn, and then the the faster you won't do it again. And that's how you learn how to be consistent. So um, as of right now, not the greatest list. To be honest with you, this is, and that's okay. Listen, not every day is is rainbows and and puppy dogs. Okay, but markets down. You got somebody that's grandstanding in Congress right now regarding about the, the stimulus. You could see how sensitive the market is to it. We killed it with, um, with, with a lot of the stocks that we traded, the brand name stocks. If it was uh, Boeing, if it was Apple, if it was, you know, airlines, if it was the cruise stocks, that's fine. Listen, it, it's healthy for the stock to back off. You want the stock to back off because... You want people, and because you, you want it to build support levels, and as long as they hold there, we're going to be doing great. Now, remember, I know we have a lot of new traders that are joining us. Listen, 
Um, when the market opens up, we always find new stocks, so don't worry about it. This list is not stitch in stone. Not everyone are big movers. Some of them were better than others, but we always find new ones when the market opens up. But as of right now in pre-market, that's pretty much what we got going on. All right? So um, let's go out there and work together like a team. Guys, don't forget, kind of to remind everybody, next Tuesday, we'll send an email for you guys to register. My very good friend, Tom Sosnoff, the founder of Thinkorswim, the owner of Tasty Works, is going to come back on here at Cyber Trade University on Closing Bell. Look forward to hear his, um, his strategy. And um, the greatest thing I think I'm going to talk to him about is we were talking about the Corona stocks, you know, when he was on last month. And uh, love to hear his feedback now after we were talking about it. So you can make sure you watch that video, that recording that we had of him last time, because I'm looking forward to interviewing him this time around and see what he thoughts. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, moments, moments forgot. Thanks, Josh, for sharing that. Today, guys, phase two starts at 1035. And remember, gold and platinum students only allowed in it. Um, and always remember, you have to learn before you could earn, okay? So um, class is very, very important. You got to be in there. That's what you paid for. That's where you're going to learn how to control those losses. And uh, when, now we get into the middle part of the courses in phase two. So be very. Uh, let's get all prepared for that. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll see what we'll be commentating in about 10 minutes when the market opens up.